YouTube. Check out the new gun. What's up everyone? Stuff and things, back in Pennsylvania this weekend, running some typical Saturday errands. Went and checked out the P.O. box. Got a couple more things from some familiar friends' faces. I got a couple things that I'm doing today, some updates that you guys might be interested in, so I figured I might as well pick up the camera, fire up the vlog, and let you guys know what I got going on. So I got the mail, that was the first thing on the list. Next thing is I might go pick up a new gun today. Probably gonna hit the liquor store after that because chances are me and my friends are gonna be doing the typical routine tonight. Just your typical average American Saturday. Going to pick up a new gun was next on my list but it's too early, the FFL isn't even open yet. So I might as well stop back here at home and open the couple packages that I got. How about a new angle of the room? It's really just because I'm too lazy to set up my light, so I'll use some window light today. I opened this karambit on the last mail time video and I was playing around with it, not really thinking about it, but I was holding it wrong the entire video. Technically, you're supposed to hold it like this. Only one person corrected me, so I'm actually surprised by that. Normally, you do something wrong on the internet and everyone wants to jump on you right away, like cutting towards yourself. Hey yo, another hat from Notch. Same multicam style hat as this one, which I actually really like. I never really wear camo, but I like this hat. This one is a little bit different though. I didn't know this before, but you can actually choose where you put the notches on your hat. And since I wear spy discords, they kind of sit off your face. Everyone always asks me what sunglasses I wear, by the way, and I always link them in the description. So now these should fit a little bit better. There we go. Now they fit a little bit better than before. The notch on this hat is way up against your head, but this one is out further on the brim, so I guess it works. Thanks again to everyone over at Notch. And next we have a package from my good friends, Panda Tactical. You guys wrapped this pretty good. It's like I'm opening an official document. This one's from Mama Panda. Wayne asked me to send you this special gift he wants you to have an appreciation for everything, but especially for the go-kart video. If you guys didn't see the go-kart video, I put it up on my Instagram. Wayne's son, Dom, built this custom go-kart, fabricated the whole thing out of like sheet metal, basically. It was a pretty cool father-son bonding project, and uh, me and the guys were ripping around on it. It was pretty fun, so go check that out if you haven't. I'm gonna save this one for last. This package I'm not going to show you guys yet because this is for the gun that I'm going to pick up. And they also sent me an easy guide to purchasing a silencer by Silencer Co. As you probably know, purchasing a silencer isn't the easiest thing in the world. There's a ton of forms and bull that you have to go to. We actually talk about it in an upcoming Sunday Gun Day. But this has like everything that you need. It has the forms, what to fill out, all sorts of good information. So Wayne, guys at Panda Tactical, Mama Panda, thank you guys. If this doesn't foreshadow what I'm going to be buying a couple of in the next couple of months, then I don't know what does. In here we also have some more parts for the 300 Blackout actually. These are some mounting pieces for something that I actually put on it already last night. Oh, yo, oh, oh. Wait. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. I didn't know this was the new film <laughs> I didn't feel like putting my light up. Jay have almost crushed the camera. Sorry, Pam. It's all good. Okay, oh J no! Oh, JF spilled the monster! Oh, no! By the way, he's cheating on you, Red Bull. <laughs> I heard. This twice. <laughs> Damn! I'll I, get paper towels. I heard water running. I'm like, what the f? Oh, Should wait. I just get a towel towel? And JF shows up. And everything goes to s. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got monster all over the Koran bit. Alright, back to what I was saying. Um, I switched out the SIG brace for this Thordson brace. A lot of the guns that you're going to see in a couple Sunday gun days from now, down at Panda Tactical, they really like these things, so I figured I might as well put it on and give it a shot. At first, I wasn't so thrilled with the look of it. I prefer the look of like a normal stock style brace. After getting this thing on here, the fit is really cool. It goes right up over the castle nut, so I can't run the Magpul single attachment sling anymore, but it's not as long as the SIG brace. It's a little bit shorter, but it's actually kind of growing on me a little bit. since. Red Bull doesn't sponsor me. Oh man, the special gift from Mama Panda and Wayne is a Spyderco knife. Whoa, dude, look at this thing. Oh, that is badass. 
Look at the blade on this thing. I don't even know what Spyderco knife this is. I'm not like super big into any new knife releases, but I'm assuming this is new because I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is the Spyderco Rock ROC by Sergey Panchenko. It's got a cool like cleaver style blade. VG10 steel, it almost reminds me of like a straight razor which I use to shave my face. It looks like a flat grind up until the bevel, maybe a hollow grind. I'm not sure, but man, this thing's pretty sweet. It's got a liner lock, skeletonized liners, and the wire pocket clip, which I actually like. It has good retention. That is pretty sweet. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. This will now take place of my ZT that's been in my pocket today. All right, that is going to be it for mail time. Is the FFL open yet? What time is it? They will be by the time we get there. There we go. Rap. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, oh, what? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> can hold it. What's up? Oh, merch. I got new merch coming. Not this. This is not my shirt, but I got merch coming. So, new merch. Um, a lot of people missed when I was last making shirts and pop sockets and hats because I do stuff in limited quantities because I do everything myself. So when the orders come in, I gotta write out all the postage and package everything and ship it all myself. It's a pain in the so I'm doing stuff in limited quantities and it's coming again soon so the shirts I'm gonna do first it's gonna be a teespring campaign that way I don't have to deal with all the shipping and bullshit and then money that is made from that will go towards funding everything else, which I already ordered. I have about 150 hats coming. I have 100 new pop sockets coming, all different styles and shit like that. So that will be coming at 100,000. The shirts, if they come in and I like them, I'm going to have stuff for guys, for girls, pretty much anyone, maybe hoodies if you guys want hoodies. And that will be 75,000 subscribers, which is probably only going to be in like six days or something something like that. Be on the lookout for that. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, that's where you're probably gonna hear about it first. Oh, Jesus. I'll leave links to all that stuff in the description down below. A few moments later. Let's take a second to talk about how awesome it is to not be a felon, to not have a criminal record, and to be able to buy guns in America. We just left Google Gunworks. Again, the dude's up there hooking it up big time. JF got a free shirt. No matter where I bring my friends, they always get free shirts. <laughs> I'm, I'm in, I love free shirts. Dave, I know you're gonna watch this. You missed out on the free shirt, dog. Sorry. But I was talking to Joe at Skuku Gunworks. If anyone is local to Berks County or even kind of close to where I live, and you wanna go check out some awesome guns at really reasonable prices, that's definitely the place to go. I'd much rather support a mom and pop shop like that rather than Cabela's. They're obviously an FFL and SOT, so you can get some cool shit like silencers, which I actually was just talking to them about. I picked up the new gun, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. I already have some parts to throw on it and make it to my specifications, my likings. Yeah, if you're in the area, definitely go check them out. This feels a little homo to me. We are on a date next to the river. <laughs> I was joking about being bougie and drinking <laughs> mimosas earlier, but this is pretty, pretty good. It's got some slow music playing over here, flowers on the table, and a nice view of the river. This is actually pretty nice though. This is where we do a boomerang, clinking our mimosa glasses together. Like all the basic bitches. <laughs> Dink! <laughs> here, I'll make a boomerang from the video. Clink your coffee glass. Oh yeah, I don't want to spill. <laughs> All right, back at home, and I know you guys are wondering what the hell could I possibly have bought? I get new guns all the time, but this one I had my eye on for a while. This is a type of gun that you don't really see in every regular old gun shop. I don't know if I've actually ever seen one in a gun shop before. I know what they are, I know the design of them, what they're capable of. It's a pretty unique gun, and I knew Panda Tactical had some, so this is actually from them. Like I've said before, if you want a gun and you're not exactly sure where to get it, 
go to them, send them an email. They will pretty much be able to find you whatever it is you're looking for. So that's exactly what they did. Actually, before I get this out of the box, I was on an Instagram live stream. If you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know where you've been. I started a live stream when we were down there shooting last weekend and I was kind of showing the table of all the different guns that they had, kind of showing the different suppressors and different configurations of ARs and stuff that they had. In the chat, I said, if you could see a video on any of these guns, what would it be? One person mentioned this gun and then the whole chat blew up with this gun, this gun, this gun, this gun. But I didn't spend any of the time there actually reviewing it because I knew I was gonna buy it and I could do a better review when I have all the time in the world to really shoot it and give you my thoughts on it. So, without further ado, ooh, I can put my new knife to use. Thing is sharp. The Chris Vector in 9mm. So when I was down with Panda Tactical, I shot this exact gun. I think I was actually the first person to shoot it because it was brand new. And at the time, it had an optic on it, which I actually also bought from Panda Tactical, and that is on its way here as well. So I shot this exact gun. I shot the same one in 45 with the suppressor and a buffer tube and brace on it. So... Yeah, I'm stoked to actually own a gun like this. It's super unique. If you don't know about it, I'm obviously gonna do a full video on it in the future. Yeah, this thing is pretty badass. Got the MBUS Magpul sights in it already. Check it out. Pretty unique, pretty awesome. I'm stoked to finally own one. I've wanted one for a while. So let's see what else I got to already put on this thing. The way this is now, it has a sling point attachment on the back here. You get a sling, whatever. This is a mag pull sling. And this gives you a third point of contact to push out, get stabilized and everything. Nothing wrong with that, but I like the way these look way more with a brace on it. Chris Vector also makes this part right here, which is the M4 stock adapter. As you can see here, this piece looks pretty much identical to this piece here. Actually, it is identical. On the bottom of the one that's already on here, the set screws are in there, so I think if I did my research correctly, I'm gonna back these out. Now that I have those backed out a little bit, I believe if I remove this sling point, pulls right off of there. Now I need... All right, change of plans. I was really impatient and ended up just kind of drilling out the rivet that was in here. That is one way to do it. That's how I've been told to do it. What I was trying to do was just take off this mount here and then I've seen people actually back this part out. So the actual sling attachment point, you can back this out and then I'm pretty sure there's, it's the same part, like there's threads in here. I think you can back that out and then this is the same part as this, but whatever, I drilled out the rivet. Now I can throw this one on here. I believe this just kind of snaps into place. All right, that is in place, not going anywhere. Buffer tube and brace, simply threads on like this. Tighten down these set screws and bam, that's it. Now I got a brace on here. I think I'm gonna have to get a uh, shorter buffer tube. Just kidding again, I'm super impatient, so I'm just gonna hack this thing off with a hacksaw. The end of this brace is closed and the buffer tube, well, it's not really a buffer tube because there's nothing inside of it. With the vector, the way it recoils, you already know. So I'm just gonna cut this off and then hopefully that'll be all right. <sighs> Being impatient. Takes a solid piece of metal. All right, nothing really went as planned with this thing, but you live, you learn. Buffer tube, this fits way better than before. This was like way, way back to here. So I'm gonna thread this into the adapter. This castle nut is a little unneeded, but whatever. Put these set screws in place and voila. Chris Vector, nine millimeter with a brace. Turned out pretty good. So if you guys wanna see my opinions, me shooting this, testing it out, all sorts of typical Sunday gun day stuff, you're gonna to have to check back sometime in probably like the end of August. I have a lot of uh, videos to edit and to publish on Sunday gun day before I get to this one, but it will happen eventually. So hopefully you guys stick around here on the channel until I get to it. That is the new gun, the new toy. Can't wait to get out and shoot it some more.
Now I need to clean up and figure out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Well, holy shit, I just edited all that video and I didn't even realize that it was 15 minutes long already. So I guess this is where I'm gonna end the video for today. Right now I'm headed to the liquor store. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna go out with some friends tonight. I don't like having 15 plus minute videos. I feel like no one's watching them. If you're still watching up to this point, I appreciate the shit out of you. If you could leave a like on the video, let me know that you made it this far. I would appreciate it. On days like today where I'm making a normal vlog, I end up going way over over my normal video length time, I'll end up hopping on Instagram Live later like I always do. Pretty much only ever do that when we're drinking anyway. So if you wanna come talk to us, hang out with me and my friends, we'll be on there being drunk, doing stupid shit like always. So whoo, thank you guys for watching as always and I will talk to you in the next one.